In this video, we'll be building a team of research AI agents that specializes in taking news, such as the latest on NVIDIA or the latest on Bitcoin, and taking that, automating that process from the news to building a newsletter. So here's a spreadsheet that has some information on some of the news I want to monitor. I want to monitor the latest news on Bitcoin. I'm interested in the latest news on NVIDIA, and I'm interested on a new company that I'm monitoring on Sophie Technologies. Let's start executing the workflow. So I have here uh, a schedule trigger that uh, is set to trigger once a day. It'll go to my Google Sheets and pick all the different items that I'm interested in monitoring. And then it's going to loop through each and every one. And for each one, I'm going to do some detailed research uh, on uh, the particular topic and break down the, uh, the topic into multiple sections. And then I'm going to have a team of research assistants uh, then research each part of that specific uh, item that was uh, broken down by the research leader. So this project planner is now planning the uh, delegate all the uh, different work items, and then each of the research assistants will then be able to, uh, to, to execute and do their research. And it's going to use in this whole process a research uh, tool called Perplexity. And this Perplexity tool will be able to get information from the, the web in uh, real time. And afterwards, uh, we're going to publish this with a editor that pu pulls all the information together and then sends that to my Gmail. So we'll let this finish and I'll show you the result of it. So now the workflow is done and I've done research for all three topics. So from the first topic, it sent me an email talking about the Bitcoin uh, market trends, regulatory impacts and trading strategies. So it's a detailed article that has citations embedded inside of it. So you have citation here, citation here, and citation here, as well as then the list of sources. So if I go into one of the citations, it gives me exactly where I pulled that information from. And then same thing for the next one with NVIDIA. So I said I was interested in NVIDIA and monitoring that. And again, it's produced a very, very detailed uh, report on that. And then the third one is with uh, Sophie Technologies. And again, very, very detailed report uh, with uh, the source uh, auto citated. All right. So what I can do with my news newsletter then is to take this, copy this, and then in uh, a newsletter uh, tool like Kit, I can just use this as a starting point. So I'll copy that. And it already has such a great starting point for me to uh, edit and then share the newsletter. Before we dive into more details of the video, I'm happy to announce that the membership has been enabled for this channel. There's two levels, community supporter and community champion. If you enjoy the content and would like to support this channel, this would be a great way to do that. Thank you in advance. All right, so let's do a detailed walkthrough of how this works. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up the news to monitor node. And it's a very, very straightforward node, uh, taking the Google Sheets and then uh, uh, connecting my uh, monitor spreadsheet, which uh, is very simple. It just has a list of the news items. And then from there, I do the loop over items. This is also uh, very straightforward. And then the settings, um, is it uh, gives a lot of flexibility here. So in the settings node, what I have is the event to monitor. So this is from uh, the spreadsheet. So I have the event. And then I can choose uh, a detailed report or a simple report. Right. So for the detailed report, it'll go through the path that we've shown. But then for a simple report, uh, there's just a very simple path that gives you uh, not as much detail, but gives you a quick overview. So it goes up this route and then uh, also uh, does a uh, email at the end. But let's uh, focus more on uh, this path here. So then what we do is we uh, check whether it's detailed or not. If it's detailed, then we go down this path here. Uh, this is uh, based on a previous video where we looked at a team of researchers and uh, built out the auto citation ability. So we go into the research leader and this research leader uh, is responsible for uh, analyzing the topic and then starting to create a table of contents so that the next uh, agent at the project planner can then break down the work into uh, various, uh, uh, the various uh, work items. And there's a, a prompt here that allows us to do that in a way that is very uh, reliable. And then we, of course, delegate this to the team of research agents. And 
each research agent has a uh, portion of the work. So you can see here for the Bitcoin case, uh, it's going to focus, the first agent is going to focus on Bitcoin uh, in this topic and then the strategy and then uh, reforms under President Trump and then various other things here. So each of these agents will go ahead and do that. We merge it. And then finally, uh, the editor uh, does this and then is able to uh, create a title afterwards and then we send the email. Now, what's uh, interesting here also is in the settings, you have the ability to have a time window. So this time window, uh, you can say day or week or month. So uh, what this will do is it will uh, it'll default to week, but what this will do is that uh, when you do the research, it will only pick up the citations uh, on the uh, news that's within the past week or the past day, or in the case of month, past month. And if you leave this blank, then there's no uh, limit on the citations. Now, going into the perplexity node, uh, each of the research leader, project planner, and research assistant uh, uses uh, this perplexity tool. And this perplexity tool uh, is a very, very powerful tool. And I will open that up. Uh, so we get an API key directly from perplexity.ai. So we'll open this up. and. Uh, we have in here uh, the endpoint, and then uh, we've set in here uh, a credential. So in the API key, what we do is uh, we uh, set authorization, and then uh, uh, and then the value here for the key, and then in here uh, we give it the specifics of uh, the request. So uh, we're, we're using a uh, large uh, online model, uh, which uh, is based on uh, Lama 3.1. And then uh, as part of what's passed into uh, perplexity, uh, we use the query uh, from the research agent. So the specific topic that the research agent is interested in uh, doing. And then we uh, also look at the search recency uh, filter. So it would be a day or a week or a month or if this empty, then there's no restrictions on that. And then uh, we output uh, from this tool a response that includes the citations as well. So not only uh, the information, but also the citations. So uh, then, of course, after we do it for one, we loop over and uh, provide the exactly same flow for uh, all the, the news items within this list. So one of the things to highlight to set up this workflow is that Perplexity, uh, you can go get the like an account and the API key from here. So uh, perplexity.ai and then there's settings. So you can go here and then uh, go to the API tab and then you can uh, create API key from here through here. Okay, so uh, after you've created the API key, you can go into the header auth here. So, so header auth and then you create the credentials uh, in here. So create new credentials and then you type authorization authorization and then here you put bearer so bearer uh, like this and then the api key and that's it that's all you have to do to uh, set up this uh to, to set up this uh, uh perplexity tool to wrap up we've been able to take the latest news and use a team of research ai agents to take that news and convert that into a draft newsletter in a very automated way complete with auto citation very very cool